this song will stop me from getting claims. I really need cash. Now, if you said to me, Alex, do you want to move in with a 15-year-old for personal gain? I'd say I might have to call the police. But on TikTok, you call it the Hype House. The Hype House is a group of TikTokers who have all come together to make themselves a group. And they've got one of those houses, like, like all those YouTube groups always end up getting. But this one's more like a dance troupe that can do like the same four movements. I don't know what that was. Please don't take that as an example of my dancing. I was copying them. I could do this. Now my TikTok game is slacking compared to these people. They have millions upon millions of followers for making TikToks uh, like this. Yeah, there's people trying to buy shoes uh, in the shop. Can you just get out, get out of the way? Can you stop throwing it back like that? I, I don't even know what to talk about here because I don't know which ones are 22 and which ones are 15. Which is a problem quite a lot of social media influencers seem to have. Now I want to know how I can get the hype. Which is what everybody is saying that these people on TikTok are getting. For doing what seems to be nothing. So I'm a perfect candidate. I have the facial features of a 12 year old but my hairline makes me look 48. So... I'm that in-between man, I'm that middle man you're looking for. Now I really want to figure out how I can get the hype, how I can actually join this house. So I've googled a picture of, of them lot to kind of see what, what's the look that I'm going for and... Well... It's not very ethnically diverse, is it? In fact, half of them uh, look exactly like each other. I've never seen people bring curtains back in such a strong way. And in fairness, I'm desperate to look better than I do. So maybe, maybe that's like the next, like the next wave, I just do this. Do you reckon I could get in? Now I googled the hype house because I have no idea about who most of these people on TikTok are. So I wanted to figure out who they are, why they live there, so on and so forth. And I found an article which details every single person in there. So we're going to read through some of them. You got Thomas who's in there. He's a 21 year old kid with a dream. Apparently, um, there's 15 year olds in there who are actually kids. Thomas, you're an, you're an adult. You're not a kid. Um, you're living with them though. Then there's this bloke called Lil Huddy. Um, he's apparently dating Charlie D'Amelio, who is like the 15 year old with like the she's huge on TikTok. I think she may be one of the biggest TikTokers on the platform. Um, and it says under here a relationship many of their TikTok followers are supporting. I mean, they can be in a relationship, I'm pretty sure that's legal. But at the same time, why do other people care? It's a weird thing to care about. Oh, I wonder what that 15 year old girl on TikTok's doing. I approve of who she's dating. Stay away, you freak. You got Ryland, who's 20. Um, okay, you got Alex, who's also uh, unemployed, so same thing. So yeah, it's a house um, of 20 year olds living with children. And, and that's why I wanted to take a look at the Hype House to see what they do, apart from end up on a list somewhere. Is that what they do? They just go... I mean, not, not like that. Because... Not like that. Are they going to be like famous dancers or... Because I'm trying, I'm generally trying to figure this out. I'm watching this and I'm thinking, they're not really dancing, are they? They're not really doing anything. That video's got 85,000 likes. 85,000 people went, they smashed that dance. They're not quite diversity. And, and I don't just mean in terms of the dance skills. Now they've gone on to do a duet with all of the previous people who are like a part of the hype house and they're 80% of the way through to the point where you actually can't see and the end, uh, you can just work out that it's some 20 year old white kid. And I'm a 20 year old white kid, so I thought if I want to try and get the hype, I need to join in. Right? 
Make sense? So let's try and learn this dance move, all right? Step one. All right, I've, I've watched it through. Honestly, I don't really have much of a clue about what's going on there, but I'm, I'm going to give it a go. First of all, I've got to get, got to look the part, don't I? I've got to look the part. So let's do this. Um, there we go. I feel like I may just be exposing myself here. But uh, it's nothing that we haven't done before. And then what? It was like... Putting my own little move there. You see, I reckon you cut that up. Put that on TikTok. I'd be as successful as them, wouldn't I? Now the thing is, I don't really feel like we've been introduced to many of the members, and I would like to get to know every single one of them. Mainly because at this point I'm struggling to tell who is who. So they made a video that um, actually explains it, so let's watch that and figure out what exactly it is. Since you guys haven't met everyone in the Hype House yet, here's the squad. David Dobrik 2.0. Clown girl. Instagram model, TikTok's newest fuckboy, skater boy, Chase's bestie, Charlie's bestie, Dancing Twins 1, Dancing Twins 2, Virgin, Best Trends, Natalie, Stuntman, Shorty, Charlie's sister, and Brian helps shoot the squad. So they all just do nothing, really. Now I do feel like I'm being harsh, because there's nothing wrong with people just dancing, even if it is terribly. Especially because I really can't comment on that. But at the same time, it's not the fact that they're just doing silly dances or whatsoever. It's the fact that they just do the same ones. And that annoys me because I always get mocked for just doing the robot. You know, because apparently, apparently this ain't cool enough anymore, doing this. When did this grow too old for people? It's just after you see them do one, then you've kind of seen them do it all, haven't you? Or am, I, am I a boomer now? Of what? Has social media passed me? I mean, apparently so, they're all 14. I mean, you look at their first video, they can't even do it in sync. You know? Where's. What, they're all out of it. I'm doing it again, I need to stop that hand movement. But the thing is, there are people who want to be a part of the hype house, so they're trying to audition their way in. So they could get the hype, which also means avoid doing the paper round. Your age, your height, city and state, how many fans you got? Are you single or you taking? Do you got kids? Your race, what's your longest relationship you was in? Yeah, well, uh, I think um, putting your race in there as white has actually secured you it. So congratulations, Woody, you're in. Welcome to the hype house. Um, that's actually the only thing that you need to be able to do. That and the same four dance moves. And if I'm not mistaken, that's some curtains that I'm seeing there. So, he's definitely in. The thing is, and they're not making dancing videos, they're making videos that are provocative. Stuff that really makes you think. So I'm going to show you this video because it really changed my outlook on life. Just to upset everyone on the internet real quick, I'm literally going to make, because we don't have any bowls, so I'm literally going to like, just go like this, and just eat it directly out of this bag. The whole, the whole box. Look man, you're, you're in like a mansion. Filled with like 40 other white kids. Are you telling me not one of you can do an Instagram brand deal? For like some teeth whitener that can get you a new bowl? He got 263,000 likes for that. Because he poured milk into a bank. Look, some of you may think that's impressive nowadays. I know that the standard for content on the internet is severely dropped. So I'm going to prove to you that even I can do it. And I don't even have curtains, so... See man, I've got my, my bowl of, uh, of... Well, it says bowl of Cocoa Pops, but we're not doing the bowl, are we? Because we're... what We're famous uh, on TikTok, so we don't, we don't need that. So I've got my bowl, uh, and I've I got my milk. So let's... Oh, fuck's sake. There's cocoa pops all over the floor. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there's no, there's there's cocoa. Oh, I've. All right, maybe it is harder than it looks. All right, do you remember when Team Ten was a thing? Do you remember that? And everybody was like, "Oh, they can't do anything." I reckon Team Ten can pour their own cereal. 
And that's saying something. Well, I feel like I've very accurately shown that I can quite easily fit in to the hype house. Uh, I have everything that it takes. Uh, I, I mean, I could do the dances, uh, but maybe I lack on like the cereal bit. But we can work on that when I actually get there. If you guys did enjoy this video, 50,000 likes, and I will post my own version of me in the hype house on TikTok. Don't forget to follow me on there, so then uh, I can get the hype, because I really need it. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. And by the way, there's a new internetsensation.shop merch sale coming out on New Year's, so keep an eye out for that. Peace out, people. Have a good day.